I had Jeff, if you noticed, I got the bank behind me, but we're fixing to do some jugging. It's just, it's a hundred plus degrees out there in that sun, and I'd rather sit in the shade and rig up some jugs. So basically, I just wanted to tell y'all that don't know, a jug, we use a 20 ounce bottle with some trot line, trot line, uh, with a hook. That's basically, you tie it from, stop it, stop it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these brim that I caught out of a treetop just a few minutes ago. I'm gonna cut it into sections, put it on some jugs, and throw them out. But I'm definitely doing that in the shade. It's too dang hot up there. Okay, we gotta cut them up. Jeff, you did not sharpen the knife. I need one of them, gin, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Ginsu knives or something like that. Sometimes we'll use uh, bait that we already caught like a couple days ago, but honestly, to tell you the truth, I've seen better, <laughs> better bites on fresh brim because of that right there. The blood attracts them. So I'm just gonna take it, I'm gonna put it on the hook. Don't hook yourself. I have a problem with hooking myself. And then that one will be ready to go. And I'm just gonna cut all these up, get them ready. Hopefully, there'll be a lot of catfish dancing going on today. No. I'm sorry. Yeah. Tip for next jugging trip, which will be tomorrow, bring better knife. Oh, but look at that. Oh, them fish are gonna love that. You wanna try some, Jeff? Huh? No, I don't think you so. You dare me to lick it? I ate breakfast this morning. I can do it until supper time. You dare me to lick it? Yeah, sure, go ahead. Heather Fear Factor jugging. Ow! You oh. cut yourself? Oh. You stuck the fish in your hand, didn't you? Oh, yeah, that's good. Put some Heather blood on there. I'm definitely gonna get one. <laughs> Woo! If I had a good knife, that wouldn't have happened. <laughs> Or a normal cutting board. See, I'm having a fight over the edge of this. Yeah. Oh, my finger won't stop bleeding. Oh, man. Do it. Mm. Oh, fresh caviar. Oh, sure is, huh? Yep. Everybody Hold see on. those fish eggs in there? Look at those fish hook. eggs. Yeah, look at them fish eggs. That will catch. Yeah. Mr. Big Cat. Should. And with these little bitty uh, live ones like this, the smaller oh, ones, come here, come here. We like to put them on a jug hole because see, they're good at catching gar and catfish. I mean, we'll eat these little boogers, but gar seem to enjoy the little action lively ones better than the cut brown. So hopefully about a 10 foot gar will eat that bad boy. Let's see. And we like to hook them right here in the top, just right below the fin. That way when he gets in the water, can you get that? I wonder if you can see it. He'll swim. Gar love it. Alrighty. Good luck. Catch me a big old gar. Okay. Now I'm going to rig up the rest of these jugs, cut up some more bait, and get them all out. Robbie, thanks for the help. Come to bail you out like always. Uh -huh. That's right. You know, you're just helping Heather out. You ain't worried about me. Yeah, she don't 
I made it. I had just enough to get here, man. Did you see me drop it? I was trying to bust it open because you didn't need it. I know. I seen you drop it. All right. I know it. Heather, I left Heather down there on the bank, so we better get that in the boat and get out of here. All right. She's probably watching jugs dance, dancing all over the place oh, now. Awesome. I'm, 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 been, I'm way overdue, man. I've been, I've been ready to hit it. Is there any way I could trade a juice pack for a beer? Probably. <laughs> Yeah, you brought me a juice pack trading it for a beer. That's an even swap, ain't it? Where's <laughs> <laughs> uh, Boy, you was dry, wouldn't you? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Look at it. I got like a little corner left. A little corner, man. <laughs> Dumb ass. I know. At least I figured it out before I did went a little bit too far, you know? Yeah. yeah. Robbie, we done let these jokes out for about two hours. We got two bites. I think I, I think I really believe that I know what has happened to this river. About four years ago, uh, they controlled the level of this river and they did a massive fish kill, which we was here actually whenever it happened and we got, you know, some footage of it. But ever since then, this river just ain't been the same. Robbie's trying to catch us some more bait <laughs> so we can set out some more jugs and hopefully catch something. Robbie, I'm thinking that we're gonna have to try some other place or something. I mean, this just sucks. I mean, we've been sitting out here for hours and got two bites. Yep, time to go to the Red River. Wow, and you, what, you know something I don't know? <laughs> oh yeah, follow an old keen ass Indian around. You're gonna get him. Oh, oh Robbie got up. something big. Grab right, we got a catfish! Catfish! Catfish chance! Look, uh, we can't catch them on jugs. You had to catch them like that while you're trying to catch bait. Look, that ain't bait. <laughs> no, it's supper now. <laughs> hey, Robbie, let's throw him on a jug. Throw him on a jug. You're going, going for the big one. He's talking to you. He's telling you about it. What'd he say? He said, he said, he said, Robbie said, rant, 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 rant. He said, heck, we're getting on a jug. Obviously, they don't the like cut brim, they like worms. <laughs> <laughs> we got to go back and bait the jugs with worms, Rob. Oh, you little cow. Oh, you little baby. Just look at these little eyes. <laughs> oh, well, Robbie. Uh, no, but a lot of people, you know, that follow us and follow the juggers thing want to, you know, go out and attempt it and try it. Please check with your local laws. It's not legal everywhere, and we don't want nobody getting a fine. Because I had somebody write me and say, "Woo, we was tearing them up on jugs." Next thing you know, our game warden showed up, and I got me a fifty-dollar ticket. <laughs> yep, check your laws. That's it. You gotta keep on top of it because every year they change too. Some some places change on different things. It's good to uh, keep up with it. Worm, Robbie. <laughs> You gonna worm me? I'll worm you. Oh, come on. I'll yeah. even worm your hook. Hey, there's one right there in front of you already, ready oh, to go. Right you, ever, you, ever had, you, ever had a girl, you ever had a girl bait your hook for you? <laughs> Look, Robbie gonna bite the hook straight. Why well, you gotta get it back straight? Oh, I hooked you, Robbie. I'm sorry. That's, that's good. <laughs> I was hooked. You was hooked from the get-go. Get on there, slimy little sucker. Okay, catch me another catfish because the jugs are catfish. Come on, that catfish. Hopefully it's, Moby. Hopefully it's Moby this time. I'd like to see you pull in Moby on that pole. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, what is that? A 404? Uh -huh. 402? It's all in how you work your pole. Now oh, you get the big one. <laughs> I'm not used to working the worm, so uh, handle up on that, my <laughs> Yeah, when the jug is slow, you gotta, you gotta swap over to catch some more bait for now. Next, next time you go lay your jugs out or eat that up. Sometimes you, you, you lose bait on your jugs, you wanna rebait. You gotta have some good fresh bait, it's the best thing, man. I mean, yeah, I pointed that out to him earlier, Rob Rob, about now it's gotta be bloody. Frozen bream whenever they bite real good, you know, if they bite real good. <gasps> oh, oh, man. oh, it jerked it hard. <laughs> it jerked hard, Robbie. Damn, set the hook to him. Snatch his lips off. Like, Oh, you did! Look, snatched him completely out of water. Now that's a big one. <laughs> she snatched it. Did you see? It? I, about, I about pulled your little lips off. Oh, oh man. man, poor baby. Here, let me 
show you what you do with blueberries. Throw him right back in there. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. Hold on, wait. You got oh, oh yeah, you look, look, that's a big one. Oh, look, okay. that's perfect. Yeah, it is. That's perfect, perfect size. Good bait. I kind of like to hook them through the lip. Like Robbie hooks them through the lip. Heather hooks them through the oh, back. Through the back. No, you hook them through the like back that. right there. No, it'll keep him alive longer. See, you stick it through his, through his mouth. Mine's been alive for two hours. How long are you going to keep him alive? That's how you do it. Oh, that was fun. Let's do that again. So you just learned the correct way to do it. Did I wiggled out? my worm. Uh -oh. and I janked he it jerked his lips off. He jerked his lips off. Robbie told me to jerk it off. How can you catch them now? I can't. Because you're in the wrong spot, get out of my hole. Oh, damn it. <laughs> okay, let's see. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Here, fishy, fishy. I've just recently learned how to fish without a cork. It's very hard work. You have to work it. With a cork, you just throw it out there, you set, and you wait. No, oh, these fish nowadays, they're on the bottom for some reason, and you're having to try to fish them out. Uh, uh. <laughs> a little, yeah. uh, that's a bigger one. It's that's brown. something bigger right there. Is that big oh no, it's a damn goo. Uh oh, it's a goo goo. <laughs> it's a big goo though. Hey Robbie, those are the ones you like with the big lips. Oh, that's the one I like with the big lips. <laughs> big lip goo. Uh, listen to it. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh. oh look at him. Robbie, I'm going to text your girlfriend. You leave my girlfriends alone. <laughs> Is that what he was doing? He was over texting the whole time he was fishing. Don't you tell Robbie's uh, my girlfriend's bad thing. Yeah, I'm fishing with thing. your man, buddy. <laughs> How many girlfriends you got, Robbie? I don't know, uh, 15, 20 maybe. <laughs> That's because he's popular. <laughs> I'm popular. <laughs> he's just kind of popular. Oh, you should have took him home and ate him like that's all we catch it. I know. Matter of fact, the way this is going, I'm ready to start picking them up, y'all. What y'all think? Yeah. All right. So maybe next time, next trip, we can be able to catch something more. Yeah, maybe next time we'll show y'all the big one. Hopefully, you know, it's just depends on how they bite. I think y'all suck at this. That's why y'all ain't caught nothing all day. I ain't had nothing to do with it. it went, we had two jugs that went under for a little while, but they, it didn't hang them, you know. And just that's how it goes sometimes. Can't catch them all, but. Gotta try. Can't ever tell. No, what it is is the fish are smarter than us, obviously. <laughs> How smart are you, not me. I know what they're thinking. Uh. Well, you need to figure out how to put them on the boat then. Figure out how to put them on the boat then. Ah, uh, we, we put Heather out on the bank up the river to pee. And we're gonna pick up the jugs and everything. And she did all the baiting and everything. And look, we're gonna catch them without her. <laughs> the only fish of the day, man. Uh -huh. Only fish of the day we put Heather out. The only one's got one on it all day. She gonna be mad if you pick up her fish. He, ain't no he got off! Oh, you didn't even get to get him either. Oh. <laughs> he was standing for jokes, standing straight up. He ain't getting hooked, man. He ain't being aggressive enough, I guess. No, I ain't eating it up. <laughs> all right, let's get the rest of them and get out of here. Then. Let's get the rest of them and get out of here. <laughs>